I'd always wanted to be a writer. I didn't really have a good story to tell. Um, and then I was a spy and that was, and then years after leaving the agency, a lot of my experiences kind of stayed with me. And then I, I was in Bahrain for my husband's job. He works for DOD um, as a civilian. That was when it sort of started dawning on me, kind of all my experiences at the agency were coalescing, just kind of simmering in my mind, I think, you know, they, they kind of haunted me. And then and then the Arab Spring just seemed like the perfect prism for for um, a spy novel, just because it is it's a conflict where there's no clear right side, which I think, you yeah. know, because you have Saudi and Iran and neither is really a perfect partner. You know, you, it's hard for the U.S. is sort of sandwiched in the middle. We're wary of Iran, but Sa and Saudi Arabia to some degree is our ally, but not fully. So it's really a tricky calculus. And I felt like this is espionage, you know, that tricky yeah. calculus where there's no clear right side and there's no clear right.